I'm all alone again. I've been locked here for 56 days as I can count. I'm glad I can still count. I'm surprised he hasn't beat the sense out of me yet. We were once too, but he took the other girl to another room. At least I hope so. I think the idea of being where I am alone scares me more than the idea of knowing others are suffering too. Is that selfish? Is that wrong? It's not that I wish they would suffer. I just don't want to suffer alone. Day 57. I realized this would be my only form of communication to someone whom I read this. If you are reading this, my name is Andrea. And I'm a performing arts major at the University of Simsville. I was once a very happy girl, a naive girl, who thought that letting a stranger take me to this place was a good idea. I had talked to him once over the phone. I even Skyped him. I had taken every precaution you could think of to make sure this wouldn't happen. <sighs> but it still happened. I'm still locked up here against my will. I'm still here, locked up. He still enters my room every so hours and talks to me about the outside world. He likes to watch me get uncomfortable when he talks about how desperate my parents are to find me. He likes to torture me emotionally and then destroy me physically. I overcome any physical violence you can think of. A while back ago, he used to taste me until I stopped moving. He wouldn't touch me. He wouldn't say anything. He would just walk into the room and taste me. And at some point, I felt like I deserved it. I felt like it was my fault I was here. And this was my punishment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> God, please. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I can't keep going on like this. I have no hope to be found. And I don't have enough hope to continue this way. It hurts so much. <laughs> Forgive me, Mom. I... I... I did my best and I did. I just can't keep bearing all this torture. I just can't keep bearing all this torture. He has taken everything. 